Providence police have released the name of the man who they say stole a car and led them on a high speed pursuit early this morning. 34 year old Raymond Grundy is facing multiple charges. That includes robbery, stealing a vehicle, and impersonating a police officer. I have an associate reporter, Brittany Schaefer, is live in Hartford Avenue where the stolen vehicle crashed this morning. Brittany? Caroline, Steve, this portion of Hartford Avenue just reopened almost 13 hours after the crash. Crews were working all day to replace this utility pole behind me after police say a stolen vehicle crashed into it and knocked it over into this Domino's. Hit me this way, look up. Wow. <clears throat> Bang! Surveillance video captures the moments a stolen vehicle crashes into a utility pole in Providence, sending four suspects to the hospital and leaving dozens without power. Providence police tell Eyewitness News Gina Dorsey and Amanda Varia asked the victim for a ride and he agreed. Upon their destination, a mobile gas station, police say Raymond Grundy and Alexander Haskin forced the victim out of his vehicle. They say Grundy identified himself as a police officer and demanded money. When the victim didn't comply, the four suspects took off in a stolen vehicle. Providence police soon after saw the vehicle, but Grundy sped off. Ron Scungio tells us those next moments were almost his last. Out of nowhere, a flash of light was right in front of my truck, like a millimeter in front of my truck. It was like there was no cars, and then boom, a car right in front of me. This is just un unbelievable. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just shaking up right now. I'm just glad that I'm alive. I literally came close to, to death. Grundy crashed into this utility pole. It then broke into pieces and fell onto the Domino's Pizza building. I turned into the parking lot immediately and watched his vehicle go straight, 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 and smash the pole. And that's when smoke came down and popping noise from the from the lights, and I heard massive screaming. And police say the four suspects are still at Rhode Island Hospital. New at six, how the crash affected a local business and residents. For now, live in Providence, Brittany Shaper, Eyewitness News. New details now on the man police say was behind the wheel of a stolen car that crashed following a high-speed pursuit in Providence early this morning. Police say 34-year-old Raymond Grundy is facing multiple charges. That includes robbery and impersonating a police officer. I'm going to just report Brittany Schaefer's live from Hartford Ave where the crash knocked out power this morning. Brittany? Caroline, Steve, this portion of Hartford Avenue just reopened almost 13 hours after the crash. A local business tells me they just got power back a few hours ago. Hey, just wake up. Wow. <clears throat> Bang! Surveillance video captures the moments a stolen vehicle crashes into a utility pole in Providence, sending four suspects to the hospital and leaving dozens without power. After we checked our breaker, Catherine and Alexandria Proctor woke up to no heat or electricity Friday morning. It was four in the morning, and it was so. I've never been so cold before. I had to use my mom's phone for a flashlight. It felt like it did outside. It was pretty Cold. Police tell Eyewitness News 34 year old Raymond Grundy, along with three suspects inside the vehicle, crashed into this utility pole. It then broke into pieces and fell onto the Domino's Pizza building. Catherine works at neighboring Honeydew Donuts and tells me the business didn't have power for close to 12 hours. We just had to do everything by hand, all the admins, subtracting, um, making sure we write everything down so we know what we have to put in the register later. The not having hot water part kind of upset some people, but the fact that we had coffee and tea, iced tea and iced coffee, they were happy with that, and donuts. We're all kind of glad that the electricity is back on. <laughs> And police say Grundy is known to them. The four suspects are still at Rhode Island Hospital. Live in Providence, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.